Zoop. Hey, what's up? It's me, Toroge Pro. I want to share with you guys a software and a technique that we are doing at work in my office for me at home to control or monitor the devices that you are using, the computer. Every time it runs to an issue, we can fix it right away. We can respond immediately rather than sending somebody else to fix that one. At work, our scenario is we have three computers. We are running a software there and it's far from our main office. And sometimes when it runs an issue and somebody calls us, there's something wrong with this one. It will take time if we are going to send somebody else there. Rather than we, we go in remotely, we can see what's happening, we can respond to the issue immediately. And even if we cannot fix it remotely, we have already an idea of what is happening, what's causing the issue, and we know what we're going to do next. For me at home, I can remotely monitor who's using the computer if I want to, and I can help someone also who is having a trouble using the computer. There are softwares that can do that one, paid version, free version, like TeamViewer, AnyDesk, I don't know if you have used that one. I've been using that one also before, but when I found out about this remote desktop software kind of thing that I'm using right now, I've been using it for one year already, and it's very good, it's very lightweight, and you only need your browser, to activate that one, you don't need any third party software. And you know what? This software is Chrome Remote Desktop and it's free, it's very lightweight. If you have that Chrome browser, you can just go and install the Chrome extension and you can use it right away. I'm going to show you how to use it and how to set it up. So let's go ahead and do it. Bam! I want to show you a sample overview. So this is already set up. You have this icon here and then you have your profile. Click the icon, this is how it looks like. I have the three computers set up already. One is having issues, one is online, the other is offline. Let's go ahead and click on that online computer so that we can see how it works. So I need to put in my pin. You will set this up when you're going to install that Chrome remote desktop or enable it in your computer. So you're going to see that one later on. I just wanna show you how it works. So this is it. I need to blur some of the persons because this is live. Some students are already tapping in, so their faces are coming up. So this is how it looks like. My computer, the remote computer is running through my browser and I can control every single setting, just like sitting in front of a physical computer. The good thing is the software or this Chrome remote desktop is very lightweight. There are a few settings that you can configure here and you can get along as soon as you have installed or enabled that Chrome remote desktop, just like doing it full screen, something like that. So I'll go ahead and disconnect from this computer and we can start showing you how to set this one up. If we scroll down, you can see this one set up remote desktop. This is where we can set it up but I'm not going to set up right now. I'm just going to use another account. So that's what we're going to do. Now here on my new Chrome browser, you need to go to that tree that on the upper right corner, go for extension, and then click on this, go to open Chrome web browser. On the search menu, you can type in Chrome remote desktop. Then click that one. There you have it. Just click add Chrome, add extension. It will be quick and then you will have it. You will have the icon there. Just click that one and then here you go. So there's nothing set up with this computer with remote desktop. So we're going to set it up. Turn it on. You have my name. It's time to set up the pin. Put in the pin you like and make sure you have the right pin. So every computer that you are going to set up with your Chrome remote desktop will be under your email. So every time you're going to open that app on your email, all the computers will be listed there, like here. It will be piled up here. And the next thing I'm going to do here is to show you how you can control it also with your phone. Because previously I've shown you how to control it with another computer, but you can also use your phone to control all those computers you want to control. I bring up my phone, go to Chrome Remote Desktop. I wanna show you how to install this one. If you don't know how to install, go to Google Play and install that one. It will take time for a bit and then open. 
You have my Toroki Pro computer. Click it up. It will be connecting. And it's time to put in my pin. The pin we just set it up a while back. Connect. All right. This is my computer. So my phone is in portrait mode. I'm currently open with Camtasia that I use to record my screen. And I'll show you that on my computer. I'll just log into my phone again. There you go. It's the same. So I need to turn this one on landscape mode so that you can easily see or you can clearly see. Okay, I'll just close Camtasia first, and this is the screen we have a while back. So I can remotely control my computer. There you go. That's on the background is my laptop. You have my phone right here. So if I move my finger on the screen of my phone, you can see in the background it's also moving. It means that everything you can do with your phone, you can do it remotely with that laptop. You can control that one. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you in my next video. And if you are not yet subscribed, consider subscribing. Share this to your friends, like my video, because we are going to come up with simple tech tutorials that everybody can learn and benefit from. So once again, help me make 100,000 subscribers. It's me, Toroga Pro, and I hope to see you in my next video. Goodbye.